गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन द एब्जॉर्बन चैप्टर सो दिज आर फ्यू न्यूमेरिकल्स विच हैज बीन आस्क इन द सी एस एन नेट एज वेल एज इन गेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द न्यूमेरिकल सो द फर्स्ट वन से इज The adsorption of gas is described by Langmuir isotherm with equilibrium constant K 0.9 kilopascal inverse at 25 degree centigrade, and the pressure in kilopascal at which fractional surface coverage is 0.95 is. So we have to uh, find the pressure. So as you know, so as you know the formula, theta is Kp by 1 plus Kp. So theta is Kp by 1 plus Kp. So uh, we have given uh, K value as 0.9 kilo pascal inverse, and we have given uh, the fractional surface coverage as 0.95. That is theta is 0.95. That means 95 by 100. So just putting the value over here, we have to find the P value. That is theta. 95 by 100 is k into p that is uh, 0.9 p by 1 plus 0.9 p right so this one is 95 plus 95 into 0.9 that comes to be 85 0.5 is equal to 90. Oh, this one is p. It's 90 p. So this comes here as uh, 95 is equal to 4.5 p. That gives p is 95 by 4.5. So it will be roughly around um, 22 or something. So we have option one by one point eleven point one, twenty one point one, eleven point one, and forty two point two. It's roughly around, uh, it's roughly around twenty one point one. So so the answer is twenty one point one. The second option is the correct answer. So this way you have to do this numericals, and we will do the next one. Right. So. I think next one is also Langmuir, so I have not brought in this one. Uh, skip the formula. So this is second one. Second one gives for non-dissociative Langmuir type adsorption, fraction of surface cover is 0.6 at 30 bar pressure. So we have given now 0.6, uh, that is uh, 6 by 10, and we have given the pressure as. 30 bar 30 bar is the pressure so we have to find the k value find the k value so 6 by 10 is uh, k into 30k by uh, to 1 plus 30k it comes to be 6 plus 180k into 300k that gives 120k is Six. So we have k is equal to six by one twenty. That comes to be one by twenty. So one by twenty is point zero five. So k is point zero five bar inverse. Okay. So point zero five bar inverse. So this is the answer. Right. So let's move on to the next numericals, uh, which is oh like the same oh. Now the next numerical. So adsorption of CO carbon monoxide and charcoal at 273 Kelvin follows Langmuir system. A plot of P by V versus P is linear with slope is given and intercept given. Find the K value. So as you uh, have learned in the uh, previous video, where p by v is equal to one by k v m plus 
like that so the plot is in p by v v versus p so slope 1 by v pm intercept 1 by kvm we have given the slope uh, 1.01 so 1 by vm is 0 0.01 and intercept 0.5 that is 1 by kvm is 0.5 so you can write 1 by k into 1 by vm that is 1 by 100 equal to 5 by 10 so 1 by k equal to 500 by 10 Okay, so that's going to be k is 1 by 50, right? If k is 1 by 50, that comes out to be 0 0.02. So the value of k is 0 0.02. It will be 0 0.02, right? Let's move on to the next numerical. Says that uh, we have given uh, some absorption of uh, three gases, which follows this type of uh, plot. When one by theta is plotted against one by p, we are getting uh, these straight lines with different slopes. Intercepts are same, but slopes are different. And this is for gas A, this gas B, and gas C. So we are asked to find the order of the extent of adsorption. So which one will get absorbed more than the middle one, than the least one. Okay. So from the Langmuir isotherm is theta is Kp by 1 plus Kp. Right. That is uh, 1 by theta. If you plot 1 by theta is basically 1 plus 1 by Kp. Right. See so if we plot if we plot 1 by theta versus 1 by p if we plot 1 by theta versus 1 by p so we will get a straight line with the intercept of 1 and the slope as 1 by k right and we know k is basically rate constant of adsorption by rate constant of desorption fine so here the slope of a is more for this plot the slope of a is more that means the value of 1 by k is more for a so a has maximum value of 1 by k so 1 by k value is most for a that means least value of k since the 1 by k value is maximum for A, so A's k value is the list, 1 by k reciprocal, k is list. And what is k? k is basically adsorption by desorption. So if k value is list, that means k desorption is more. So the extent of adsorption for A is the least, right? Because k value means adsorption by desorption. If k value is more, that means extent of adsorption is more. If k value is less, then extent of adsorption is less. So since A has the least value of k, that implies that the extent of adsorption is least for A, followed by B, followed by C. So C has the most value of k value, or the least value of 1 by k. And that means C has the extent of adsorption which is more. So the order will be extent of adsorption absorption order will be c greater than b greater than a fine okay so the last numerical is came in gate 2017 so we'll do this it will be a very easy numerical right so what they told that dissociative chemisorption of x2 so x2 
question number 5 x2 undergoes dissociative type means forms 2x right this follows uh, on the metal surface it follows the langmuir isotherm the ratio of red constant of adsorption and desorption is 4 atmosphere inverse so ratio of red constant of adsorption by desorption is 4 atm inverse and what is this this is the k is 4 atm inverse right the fractional surface coverage of x at 1 atm is so we have given the pressure as 1 atm right so what is theta now theta is kp to the power half because it is dissociative and since it is x2 so it is forming 2x so we have half power in the powers so 1 plus kp to the power half this putting the value of k as 4 and p1 so 4 into 1 will be 4 so this is 4 root 4 by 1 plus root 4 that comes out to be 2 by 1 plus 2 that is 3 that is 0.67 so this is the answer 0.67 so that's all for the numerical part and these are the types of numericals which are generally asked in the CSI net or gate examinations. I know these are very easy numericals but the one thing is that you should uh, memorize all these formulas. Uh, especially the Langmuir type you have to remember all the formulas so that you will be able to solve this type of easy numericals. And that's all. Uh, thanks for watching the video.